Hello everyone and welcome back to Cyberkin Productions. Today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new 13th Doctor's Electronic TARDIS. So let's jump into it. Starting off with the box, it continues the same colour scheme and art style of the newest B&M sets released. The Doctor logo is shown in the top corner. 13th Doctor TARDIS Electronic TARDIS with light and sound effects at the bottom. It also features opening doors and takeoff and landing lights and sound effects. And has a stunning image of the TARDIS at the left side. A large window shows off the TARDIS extremely well, and it proudly boasts that it's electronic. The left side of the box features a picture of the TARDIS in the same art style as seen on the front, and the back features text about the TARDIS. Give the video a pause if you want to give that a read. The top repeats information seen on the front, and the bottom has lots of legal stuff as well as battery instructions. The inside of the box features a picture from the Ghost Monument, with the desert hills in the back and the pool of water with a reflection of the TARDIS. But that's enough about the box, let's take a look at the TARDIS. So here it is, the 13th Doctor's TARDIS. Oh, God. The prototypes for this looks way better than this. This is literally a remold of the first Doctor's TARDIS, but with a different roof. I suppose I should probably review this. To start off, the TARDIS is way too thin. If you had to use a remold, then the 10th Doctor's would have been a better choice. The lantern on top resembles the actual one very well, with the indents on the glass and the bump on top. The detailing of the wood looks amazing, with the ridges and knots giving the TARDIS a very realistic look. The police box sign is very crisp and bold, the pull to open sign is in black and the handle has been put on the left to match Jodie's TARDIS. The other door features a handle and the Yale lock. The windows have a frosted look to them, with two of the panels having a grain effect to them. This is inaccurate as well, as Jodie's TARDIS doesn't have the grain on it. The left and right sides are identical, so there's nothing new there. The back is a different story, as it features the battery compartment and the awful speaker holes. The bottom features the on-off switch, the button to activate the sounds, as well as more legal stuff. Overall, the detail is excellent, but inaccurate in a lot of places. Disappointing, really. Turning to features, the TARDIS doors can open. Simply pushing the doors inwards opens us up to... Nothing. Yes, they decided not to put a card cut out of the console inside, which is really disappointing, as it added a lot of detail, as well as make the toy feel even more like the TARDIS. But fortunately, there is a printable cutout available if you want to do this. To close the doors, pull the left door closed, and press the button on the ground to close the right side. The TARDIS also features lights and sound effects. To activate them, turn it on at the bottom and place the TARDIS on the table. The lantern is blue and shines incredibly bright. The light will pulsate when the sound is playing, as well as when left alone. The light will automatically switch off after 5 ish minutes to save battery power. To access the other sound, simply lift the TARDIS off the table. The speaker is really good. It sounds very crisp and clear and not jittery at all. I really wish there were some secret sounds as with the 10th, 11th and 12th TARDISes. A few more lights would have been nice as the 12th Doctor's TARDIS we got was amazing as it had lights in the lantern, windows, police box sign and pull to open sign. As you can see in the size comparison, the TARDIS falls in between the 4th and the 12th Doctor's TARDIS and also looks really nice when placed next to Jodie. So overall, what do I think to this TARDIS? I think this is really disappointing. It's inaccurate in places, as well as having only one light and two sounds, but what's even more annoying is that they didn't even put a backing card in it. This doesn't feel any different to a B&M TARDIS set, apart from the lights and sounds, which is really disappointing to say. So that concludes this review. If you liked it, please leave a like and tell me what you think in the comments below. If you enjoy Doctor Who content, then also subscribe to not miss any more figure reviews, as well as the Doctor Who fan series that is currently in production. Thank you all so much for watching, and until we meet again, goodbye.